May God heal the hearts of the entire Jewish people. I want them to know that the entire Jewish nation feels their pain. Rabbi Mendy Cohen of the Chabad of Greater Sacramento found out about the San Diego synagogue tragedy with a knock on the door. We don't use the phone for 48 hours. It was the end of the last day of Passover. He learned one person was killed and three others were injured, including his friend, Rabbi Goldstein, who he studied under as a student. When he realizes the danger that's about to unleash, God forbid, he jumped on the guy and held his gun. And the guy continued shooting and he lost two fingers. He said, I want to say something before they take me away. They will not break us. We are united, they will not break us. Unbelievable. Rabbi Cohen said while he does have security concerns, he doesn't want to instill fear in his congregation. Don't cause people to be afraid and not to do. It's very important because if you do that, they won. They took an entire Jewish nation, entire good American people, and made them afraid. We're not afraid. All day long, people of all faiths sent their prayers and warm wishes over to his synagogue. Even Christian pastor Charles Cole wants local Jewish leaders to know that he's glad they're here. Whenever, often, it was very meaningful when something happened to our Christian community, when Muslims and others would come and, and be supportive and say, "We, you know, we're glad you're here." <laughs> so. Yeah, and they're our neighbors, so we are glad they're here. Rabbi Cohen says he is working on beefing up security in addition to the fence that already surrounds his place of worship. But in the meantime, he is encouraging his members to fight the hate with kindness. We have to take precautions for security because there could be other people like that. But the main precaution is to add in senseless, baseless, acts of goodness and kindness, just to be kind to each other, to care for each other, 